get hold of the 28 day position. But he didn't say who the position was going to, so the position will go to them. A ego thing. That's a little test for you. You've got to allow them to do that because that's their way out in the public. Okay. But you have to allow it and not say anything and just let them carry on. Remember, he's making an order to that name and that name's not you. He's already said that you're not liable or you public acceptance. So why would you even say anything to support what you're doing? He's doing that to the public record and let him carry on. Okay, now, I, I was trying to stop you there, Wendy, but you're in full flow, and I, I'm, glad you, I'm glad you continued. So, I'll get my head straight now, I think. So, you're living in your house at the moment, and yep. today is, and don't contradict me on this now, today is the 28th of October, and you're still there, and you're still able to make a cup of tea. And you too. Yeah, it's, it's a lovely house. I've been in the house, lads. It's a beautiful house, and you, nobody wants to leave it, actually. So, um... You're there, you're living peacefully, you're a nice piece of happen. You're, you're, you're learning your stuff, you're, you're doing your artwork, you're doing what you really enjoy, you're living life as best you can. Mm-hmm. And on the 20th of September, or 19th of September, the judge said to you, okay, uh, well, the balance of money will have to be paid and there is a repossession, blah, 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 blah. And how long ago was that, Wendy? How long ago was the 20th or the 19th or the Um, how long ago was what? How long ago was the 19th or 20th of September? It must be at least 30 days, is it? Yeah, it's been 40 days. 40 days? Or 38 days, something no. like that. Nobody's come banging on your door saying, come on, Wendy, I'll no. you on. No? No. And what date, what date did the judge say you had to be out by? The 18th. The 18th. So... Approximately 10 days ago, or 10 days ago. Yes, 10 days ago, yeah. yeah. Uh, you should have left your property. Yeah. So, with, are you sure now nobody knocked on your door and asked you to leave? No, probably. <laughs> you were, were you there on I the 18th? I stayed in, I stayed in all day. Actually, I did get a knock on the door. Yeah. And uh, it's a TV license, man. <laughs> uh, we've talked about the TV license man, before. He wants to steal your telly or something. Doesn't he? He'll take away your telly. Well, no, he wants to find me because I haven't got a TV license. All oh, right, okay. Uh, well, he was, he, he was prepared to take your TV instead of the license the last time, wasn't he? Is that, maybe that was something no, else. No, that wasn't me, no. <laughs> no, I think it was you, but you're, you're, you won't admit it now, you see. Okay, well, <laughs> have we, I, have it on, folks, I have it on record. We talked about this before, about the TV license, man, and he wants, he wants Wendy's TV. I don't know why he wants Wendy's TV. But, um, so you're still in the house. Yeah. And you're still watching your TV. Yep. And you're still doing your painting and making nice cups of tea. Yep. And, and following me on Skype. <laughs> and <laughs> everything is rosy in the garden. It is. And some nice roses in your garden too. So everything is, is beautiful and it's, it's great. It's peaceful. Well, not, it's not completely peaceful. I mean, I had babies around my door yesterday. What did they want? No, the day before yesterday, Monday. What's the day uh, Monday, uh, sorry, Monday, I had bailiffs around my door from council tax. Okay, well that's another, uh, that's another thing you're, I mean that, that must be, seem quite insignificant now, considering what you've achieved so far with the house. Oh, absolutely, I, I'm not bothered, I'm not phased by it at all, I can, so I can deal with them, no problem. Okay, now again, I'll, I'll, pan, I'll put this message out in my words for the people that are listening here in Ireland, in the UK, in France, Germany, and those listeners all over the world now. We've got something like 150,000 people tuning in to the station at the moment. Yeah. And that, um, uh, once again, Wendy, you've been through a process that isn't for everybody. And um, I must say, I've met Wendy only, only the once, and um, you're, you're extremely peaceful and content, and you've studied really, really hard all this material. Um, yeah. but, but I think what's significant, what struck me about you, Wendy, is that you've made a decision, and you stuck by that decision in a very peaceful manner. And I remember you saying it to me, I'm not going anywhere. Is that right? Hello. Hello, Hello Wendy. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, can, I can hear you. You still there? Sorry, you yeah, I'm still here. Yeah, I remember you saying to me, um, in summary, that you said, well, I'm not going anywhere. Yep. So, you're still there. And I'm still here, yeah. 
that's in my heart. It's, I've got a hundred percent belief in what I'm doing. I've got a hundred percent belief that I'm entitled to stay in this house. Yeah. And um, I know exactly what I need to say. Yeah. Coming from my heart, and that's it. I'm not moving, I'm not going anywhere. Well, this is, a, this is one thing that um, I say to people as well, Wendy. Now, I have not been in the situation that you're in, and I would hope never to be in that situation, to be honest with you, because I think what you've done is phenomenal, and I think it takes a lot, a lot of bottle and guts and passion and all the rest of it to, to do what you did. But it's something that I think is very important that people have to get into their head, is that when you make the decision to stay, you can stay. Nobody will actually put you out if you... Is that right? That's right. As long as you're peaceful. Peaceful, absolutely, yes. Yeah, if you start being violent at people at the door and, and shouting your mouth off and being argumentative, then you need to get it. You're going to be out on your, on your ear and that's it. Yeah, OK. But again... It's about asking questions yeah. at the door, really. And if they don't give you an answer, they're perfectly accepting what you say. OK. And they will go away. They will go away. Yeah. Because, yeah, I mean, once they see that you know who you are, I think, isn't it? Yeah. yeah you, you know who you are, you know what you, what, what life you want to lead, and you're going to lead that life irrespective of what's thrown at you. Yeah. yeah. Now, just going back, I mean, I, 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 would, I would stay on this call, like, for hours just to find out what's in your head. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. So we go back now to the 20th of September when the judge... Um, is there anything you want to throw in there? I mean, the process, you walked into the court. What happened when you walked into the court? What were you faced with? Um, well, my story goes back to July, really. July, okay. The 26th of July was the first time I was in court. Um, I made claims in that one. And, uh, you know, I made a lot of claims in that one. Yeah. And the judge wanted me to go and see a GP. I wanted the name to go and see a GP, um, basically going down the mental health route with me. Yeah. So um, I told him I didn't agree to that, not the name, and, you know, I haven't got a doctor and all of this stuff. Yeah. But anyway, you're doing that one for eight days later. So eight days later, I went and um, did the same. You know, went to back. But in the, in, the, in between those eight, in those eight days, I was doing the Batman method. Yeah. So when I went to court the second time, and I went up to the clerk and I said, I'm here about that matter. Um, I'm a peaceful inhabitant. I did those four little cornerstones, and the clerk was kind of a bit, you know, all, he was saying, oh, he was trying to get me to say I'm the name, and I was saying, no, I'm not the name. And he said, no, you miss Wendy then, and I was saying, no, I'm not miss anything. And, um, <clears throat> He wouldn't let me in, and I said, well, I do need to see the judge to give him some first-hand knowledge, and um, I need to go above, you know, speak to somebody above you if you're not going to let me go in and see the judge. Yeah. So he sent me to some inquiry desk. I went there, stood there for one, you know, ten seconds or something. There was too many people there, and the court was due in, like, 15 minutes, so I knew I wouldn't have to hop on there, and I would miss my opportunity there. So when I went back, the clerk was talking to the only other chap that's in that area. Mm -hmm. And as soon as they're seeing me, they stopped talking, and the other chap went and sat back down again. And um, he let me in, the clerk let me in in the end. But before he let me in, the other chap that was in the room went before the judge. He all called in, and he went on his own, and he come out, and he left. He left. And then they called me in. Uh, who do you think this chap was? Who do you think this guy well, was? I think he was the solicitor for the bank, but when they heard what I was saying, yeah. they were like, I'm not going in there now, we don't know what she knows. They wanted to know what I know, because I'd said something, you know, yeah, okay. something that was right. Yeah. So, so they shut, he shut up, because he didn't want to go in there claiming the name, you see. Ah, okay. Because he would have got the liability, so we left it. Yep, yeah. okay. And, I, and then they, they took me into the judge and said that the bank hadn't turned up. <laughs> so where's the controversy, you know? So, uh, so anyway. If the, if the bank hadn't turned up, Wendy, um, they're absent, aren't they? Yeah. So basically they couldn't present a case then, could they? In any case. No. No, and, and I could have won then, but 
still can see you on this route because I knew this was the right route I was going down. Okay, fair enough, yep, yep. So I continued with that, um, that domain, blah, 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 and he adjourned it then. So I went for a journey for a month. The journey had you... did the adjournment and that was like... Six weeks later, actually, I got the next one, which was the 20th of September. So, when did the judge in the first case, in the first instance in July, had you in there without the bank being present? No, the first time the bank was present. What was it? And the judge ordered that I went to see a doctor and adjourned for okay. a week and a day for me to go and see a doctor to check my mental health. Okay, yeah. And then the second time, I went before the judge and the bank weren't there. But neither was the name, ne neither was, you know, the person, somebody representing the person because I won't go in as a person. Yeah. So basically it was between the judge and the name in that court that day, so he yeah. just settled it easily. Yeah, uh, it, it, it's, it's something else, I mean, um, you, you decided a certain route. Other people, they'd have seen that information, depending, of course, on how well they're trained and how much of the knowledge they have. Somebody else might have settled it first day, somebody else might have settled it the second day. You you then a, a third time then? Yeah, so then I, I went back on the 20th and that's when they called me in, which was that I had six weeks then. Yeah. So I learned loads of stuff in that six weeks, that was great for me. But it's still hard to do when you get in there and I yeah. still made my mistakes, you know. Yeah. And I know I'd be very different, if I did it again today even, I'd be totally different than I was last time. Would you say less? Would you actually say less or say more, Wendy, if you went in again and had to do it again? Would I say what? Would you say a lot less? Yes, yeah, yeah, say less. Okay. So you, because you'd be well rehearsed, you'd have a lot more knowledge. And yeah. Okay. Yeah. Certainly I've got loads more knowledge since, you know, even since then, which has just been, you know, just over a month. Because it's learning, you know, it's just getting more and more into your heart and into your head and, and it like, combines, you know, and you just know your stuff then and it's just great. Yeah. You're, you're conditioning yourself really, aren't you? Or yeah, reconditioning, reconditioning, yeah. Taking away the old conditioning and, 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 and implementing my mind as a new one. Well, I, th I think you might get a job there um, representing other people. Are you, are you working with a lot of people at the moment? No, no, I'm not working with anybody, no. No. Um, I mean, I help people in that, but, yeah. you know, I do help people along the way, okay. whoever requires it and that. Well, I, I've got a couple of people I might send, uh, they're actually in the UK, and you see, I believe that um, I, I couldn't turn around and help somebody in that in that context because I haven't gone through the process that you've been through. Mm -hmm. I've done no other things myself, but, um, and this is what I, I'd always say to people, I think you'd be the same, Wendy, that if, if you're learning from somebody who hasn't done it, you know, I, I think I think you're wasting your time. Yeah, you haven't got the first time knowledge, so yeah. you need first time knowledge. Yeah, they have to be there. Uh, as I say, there's, and there's loads of ways to do it, uh, depending on the experiences. So, right, okay. So, um, you're in the house, um, and then the, fi the final straw. I mean, I I can't get over this myself. I mean, I, I do believe you, obviously. Um, but was there anything specifically that led you to believe, because you, you do have a lot of faith in yourself, obviously, and that's a great thing, and had a lot of faith that the method and the process that you were working through actually would work. Mm -hmm. Was there any, did you get any confirmation in the court the last time you were there in September that everything would be okay? Only because when, when I ask my question, he answers them. And, well, there were two things, really. Um, the second, the third time when I appeared, you know, um, as we were going into the court, the clerk said that there's somebody in there, the judge, just observing the okay. Yeah. So I was like, oh, that's very interesting. So when I got in there, I walked in with the, solicitor, the bank solicitor, the judge was there, and there was another chap sitting next to him. Okay. Now, I believe that he's a government agent. And he was there to watch the judge to make sure that the, you know, well, to watch me, I guess, and the judge, to make sure that the judge didn't dishonour me. Wow. Because the time before, obviously, they knew I was coming in as a peaceful inhabitant, so over that, and, and, and um, but about, say, three weeks before the court case, on the 20th of September, three weeks before then, yeah. so say like at the beginning of September time, I got a call, and it was, uh, allegedly it was from the bank, 
Yeah. Well, because I sent this to the bank that notice, you see, where's the proper notice? I want to deal with the matter honourably, and yeah. who's liable to the name, and who authorised you to use that name as the... 